Aquarius, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This reading is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or wherever Sagittarius affects your natal chart, you can put this energy in for the next seven days for the week ahead. So this is the energy for the week ahead, Sagittarius. Um, here we go. We're going to start with your oracle card reading. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries, by the way. Uh, if you have not subscribed yet, please do click subscribe, help the channel grow, and click that bell so that you know when I upload all the content. Crowning your energy in reverse is be peace and set healthy boundaries, I think. No, be peace and you are never alone. Um, there is trouble on the home front or in the heart front. This week there is, yeah, something's going on. There's, there's tumultuousness, there's an imbalance, there's, a, there's somebody <clears throat> that has disappointed you or let you down, or there is something that is upsetting you a great deal. This could be a breakup in a relationship, or it could be an illness, a sickness, something, somebody that you're worried about, somebody that you're concerned for. This is an energy of a broken heart. Ooh, Sagittarius, let's see what else this reading takes us. We're going to do the full oracle card spread here. And then down below, there's a link to an extended video if you want to um, go over there for a full tarot card reading that extends this video and a romance reading. Um, Dove spirit and otter spirit. Yeah, this is heartbreak. No, I just, I don't want to say anything before I just read this get all of this information. I know it sounds like I'm stuttering, but I, I really want to take this all in. Let's see what other cards come out. Sagittarius energy. Sagittarius energy. No, I did not predict this for you this week at all. All right. So this is your energy for the week of um, the week ahead. Crowning. Your energy is heartbreak. I, I know people complain that I say this uh, over and over again. I would like to know what's going on. Um, and I do have other cards here, but this definitely seems like disappointment or, um, yeah, or hurt, pain, suffering, sorrow, and in balance, somehow feeling things are not fair. Um, how could this happen? How, this is... I'm a Cancerian, so sometimes I'm not great with words, but I can I can tell you what I'm feeling right now. And the feeling is, how could this happen? How could this be so? Why would you do this to me? This hurts so bad. Um, what were you thinking? Or why, why are you doing this? Or why are you telling me this? Why are you saying these things to me? Why, why, why? How could this be happening? Is this happening? This can't be real. This can't be real. This can't be real. This is a sense of just shock, type of disappointment. There's a complete and total um, almost disorientation with whatever has happened. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be somebody that you love. It could be a job that you love. It could be something that you were really looking forward to. Um, why would you not give me this position? How could you fire me? These kind of, why are you doing this at this time of year? That's what, that's what you're doing that th at this time of year. Why would you say this to me? This is the, the most horrible thing that you could tell me at this time of year. Like, you know, you can't tell me that I don't have a job to go to tomorrow. You know, when Christmas is coming up, it's, it's that kind of energy coming through for either you or somebody that is surrounding you, somebody around you that you care about clearly is experiencing this level of ooh, um, interference this week. So if you are on platforms that allow for commercial breaks, I'm going to put one in now um, and I'll see you back here in about 30 seconds. I appreciate your patience. Let's keep getting into the reading because the truth is the crowning energy is the only energy that came out in reverse. And that's very good because what that tells me is this week could actually be a week of healing, of coming back together and making amends. Be here now, be in the present moment. So that tells me that right now is better than what was and you could be coming out of a sense of heartbreak and disappointment and real disruption to what makes you feel secure and healthy what you know is real, what, like in other words, what you've built your sense of reality on was shaken. Be here now. This is getting your balance back. This is also Libra energy. 
the dove spirit is Libra energy too, but this is in reverse. This would be unbalance and chaos. And then this would be be here now in this present moment. And it could be just telling you to keep going through the chaos, that things are going to get better. That maybe, just maybe, Sagittarius, you have to accept the chaos for right now and accept this disruption to your life. It's just something that you're going to have to get through. But it also suggests that coming these next, uh, coming this week, this next seven days is a sense of beauty again. Something has inspired you. There's um, maybe coming back together with yourself and feeling happier hope. A little bit of hope coming back into this week. Use your mind wisely. An idea. Maybe um, an, a light in the dark. Something that has come to you. Uh, or when pigs fly. So this could be happening now where you get this ray of hope. But definitely there's a sensation of this is all happening right now. Let it shine. A chance for you to be heard, a chance for you to be recognized, a chance for you to be seen. This is also a resurrection of something that might have been dead. So a resurrection of an opportunity or your voice finally meaning something, finally, um, finally being recognized and heard, or you shining light on something that maybe the world or your, your world, your world at the very, you know, your family group, Maybe you're telling somebody something that they didn't want to hear, but you're doing it because it's real and they need to see it. This is, a, this is the energy of shaking them awake. So this energy, remember how I said it could be also energy around you? You may have just thrown somebody off completely from feeling good because they, their, their feeling good was based on a lie or a deceit or not having the information and right now it's like it's all coming out Ooh, interesting energy freedom is yours you probably knew about this energy for quite some time that's what I'm guessing that you had some sort of insight or at least an inkling into what was happening or going on around you and you probably were the whistleblower you were the one that called things out and it's liberating in the sense that you don't have to keep a secret anymore. In some weird way, when you keep secrets, you're actually assisting the person who is benefiting from doing things beneath the surface, doing things that are hidden. So you're actually helping to protect them and it's usually helping to protect the bad guys. So I feel like this is you, Sagittarius, being liberated from some sort of energy or obligation that you did not really want and I don't necessarily mean like a relationship or even a job but the obligation of keeping a lie holding a lie in um pretending like you didn't notice something when in fact you really did notice it and now you're allowed to say it out loud magic works through you this is being told or being the conduit for Things changing, things, um, yeah. Now, this also could be representative of your season. This is a season of um, a great benefits coming, but there's a lot of chaos in the process. It's almost like the good luck or the fortune is being flung all at once at people. So even though it's stuff that they wanted to come to them, it's almost knocking them over the head. So it's definitely a conduit for, for Jupiter sending in magical things, things that you never thought were possible, clearing things up, or you hearing news or getting word that you never thought was possible. Maybe actually something that actually sets you free. Um, literally, if you're talking about the legal system or... If you're talking about certain accusations that were made against you and now somebody is coming out to finally say, no, Sagittarius didn't do this or word or message is coming out. See, I told you that I didn't do this. Finally being able to like a light coming out of the dark, something that was hidden is now revealed. And maybe what is revealed is you and who you really are and maybe what you've kept under lock and key. Um, you're finally being out in the open. Maybe something that you were working on, something that you were thinking about, an idea that you'd wanted to share for quite some time. This is all the energy of revealing yourself. Um, truth transcends illusion. I mean, that says it all. This is also, once again, out of the dark. This is transcendence. This is becoming something new. Um, something that you were always meant to be. Uh, I just feel like you had to keep something out of under wraps for quite some time and that disrupted or caused a lot of chaos, which is why 
this ener chaotic energy and heartbreak is crowning your, your reading, this could very well, Sagittarius, mean that living by your own means or living by who you really are could be breaking a lot of people's hearts. But that is what it is. It's, it's sort of, it's not necessarily even something that you decided to orchestrate yourself. It's just the truth comes out. Truth transcends illusion. So maybe you didn't even have a choice this week. You don't even have a choice of, 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 of people finding something out, whatever it was that was in it that you attempted or other people around you attempted to keep hidden. Whatever it was that was hidden, it's going to come out all by itself. It's not even something maybe that you had to speak up about. It's just something that it's because it's true. And no matter how much people tried to hide it, there's a sense of you can't hide the truth. And this is once again, transformation is beautiful. Um, I got this a lot. I feel like in the Scorpio reading, um, or maybe it was the Libra reading. There's definitely a sense of, hold on one second, hold on. There's definitely a sense of um, not fitting into an old skin. It didn't fit you anymore. It was wrapped around so tight, it was practically choking you. And now you get to cast that old skin away and be your potential being, be exactly who you want to be. Whatever it is, Sagittarius, this chaos is has become a liberator for you. It's very interesting energy. Um, and also, once again, there's a lot of double numbers, 3-3 three, three and 2-2, two, two, which are angel numbers. Uh, a rebirth is assured. This is, once again, an energy of transcendence. Scorpio got a lot of this, too. Um, something in your life has changed and it's because all, I think maybe you tried to give order to something or make sense of something that never really was meant to make sense because it was never really true. And it all had to be revealed and come out. And even though there's a lot of chaos that come, that happens this week, it's a necessary chaos. Um, dream the world into being and then make your dreams real. This is transcending the past and getting over those things that were hidden and then you actually being the person that designs the future, that's make, making your own life. Um, there is also a sense here of whittling, 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 um, trying to catch something in your web. There could be a sense of you not wanting this truth to come out because it may change too much and you don't want it to. Um, and that's why there's chaos in your life because whatever, whatever this, whatever, what, whatever was revealed actually may have thrown you into a chaos that you were trying, you tried very hard to avoid. But that also doesn't mean, Sagittarius, that it's bad for you that this is all happening. I think that you were afraid of it happening afraid of people finding whatever it was out, but overall it's going to be liberating. I'm going to turn the cards around so that you can see what I'm talking about. Hold on. All right, here you go, Sagittarius. Now there's a lot of cards on the table. Once again, this is a big reading. That's okay. But see, there is this sense of tr almost uh, the position of this card. It could be you having tried to create that, that veil that everybody was hiding behind or that was trying to, I'm sorry, you or somebody around you trying to create that veil that, um, to make people think one thing was going on when something else was going on behind it. And the reason for that being you had an insight into what was going on behind it and you didn't like what was going on behind it. What was going on behind it was actually something that you didn't want to come to the surface, but it, it was meant to come to the surface. It couldn't be hid. And that's why, especially if this was, if this was working against you, you feel very liberated. There's some sort of absolute liberation this week from the burden of trying to keep something together that wasn't meant to to be and that it doesn't have to be insidious or even mean um, whoever was doing this in your world or if you were doing this Sagittarius it could just have been you know for for the um, sense of the greater good of I have to keep this together I have to do this but maybe it was too much like 
you know, not wanting to admit to yourself that somebody is really, really ill. And so more and more and more, you took on more responsibilities of theirs around the house. So it was all getting done um, and everything looked on the outside like it was still okay. But it, you, you really knew that it wasn't, but you didn't want to know that it wasn't. You didn't want to acknowledge that it was not going to change. Things weren't going to go back to normal. The new norm was you being overburdened with all this new work so that you didn't have to accept or reveal that this person that you loved was getting Ill, was more and more sick or something to that, that effect. It didn't necessarily have to. It just you were not ready and did not want to talk about or even deal with the fact that this was happening in your heart. This is something that would make you feel like your life was falling down around you. So you tried to keep everything together in order to keep it looking like, and even to yourself, try to fool yourself into thinking that everything was okay or was going to be okay. Well, this week it all comes out, you know, you were the one, you're the one that's been doing all these things. Um, your loved one or whoever this was, they haven't been able to do these things for weeks and, and they might not ever be able to do these things again. And I think that there is some sort of truth that was hiding and that you were trying to sort of trap and not let come out. But the truth is you just, you can't do that. There's also a, a sense of somebody watching you or surveilling you and setting a trap for you to try to, in, in, in what they would feel was their own sort of self-defense it's almost like it's almost like the spider's trying to set a trap for the bat feeling like somehow you or this energy also could be reverse Sagittarius that somebody in your life was setting a trap for you so that you couldn't get through so that there's an energy here of somebody wanting to hold you back um so that you couldn't spread your wings and fly um uh, somebody watching you uh from the background somebody um guilt tripping you, somebody uh, threatening you uh, subvertedly though, um, so that they could continue to live in the world that they wanted to live in instead of you being able to just sort of spread your wings and blossom. But this week, the good news is absolute chaos ensues and through that chaos, there's a beautiful freedom. There's a freedom where all of this comes out onto the table, the web breaks down, there's a sense of not being able to not this is the inevitable so the inevitable is going to come out this week all right Sagittarius let's go deeper into what is going to be the outcome um after this week maybe we can look a little forward but I'm definitely going to do a full tarot card spread to get deeper into an understanding of this reading and then we'll also do your romance reading over um over there as well the link is in the description box below I'll see you there